41 News. Well, new tonight at 10, a traveling museum is in town and pays homage to the black pioneers of aviation. KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim sat down with the creator of the museum, who also has a personal tie to one of the men who paved the way for the Tuskegee Airmen. Every year I've gotten some kind of accolade from my father. Chauncey Spencer the first or Woogie always set his sights to the skies. According to his son Spencer the second, his father took one look at a plane flying by and was bit by the aviation bug. I think he would be very proud of me. It makes me cry sometimes just to know that I've done these things and I talk about him. Woogie's determination to fly dates back to his 16th birthday. He was denied flying instructions at the Lynchburg, Virginia airport because of the color of his skin. Well, my father said the manager didn't even look up. They said, we don't teach color to fly. They don't have the intelligence. Woogie eventually traveled to Chicago, where he learned to fly under the guidance of Cornelius Coffey. There, they created the National Airmen's Association of America, a 10-city tour to encourage historically black colleges in the South to get involved in aviation. During that trip, he met with then-Senator Harry S. Truman, who would help get blacks into the Army Air Corps. This man right here is why the Tuskegee Airmen are successful. The rest is history, and it's that often forgotten history that Spencer II wants to tell. With this museum on wheels, he has traveled over 63,000 miles to 42 states. He's here in Kansas City at the request of Robert Gray, who hosted a Medal of Honor Day ceremony this week. We're on the same mission to make sure that we educate uh, uh, the future generations about the past. How the first African Americans in aviation fought on both fronts, freedom from racism and freedom from World War II. My father would say, you can get down there and get dirty, and then you become the same as they are. You have to ride above that. And the Tuskegee Airmen, not only did they fly above that, they acted above that. Jian Kim, KSHB 41 News.